Hi, thanks for joining me again. This time I thought we'd look at how you can analyse a chart. Um, how I go about it, it's not the only way to do it. It's generally what I do in rough form. Um, the chart I've chosen is AVZ Minerals, uh, stock code AVZ. And um, here's the chart, this is the daily. Now, I would generally always go and look at the weekly first, especially if I'm not familiar with the chart. Um, gain an understanding of what's happened in the past and, um, and then move towards a daily to see what's happened in more detail. Now, I chose this chart. I'd looked at it previously for some people and um, found it quite interesting. The levels all make reasonable sense. Um, the chart is um, understandable. And, um, and it's possibly instructional. So um, I chose this to look at initially. Now this is the weekly chart. Um, I'd look at this chart to gain an overall understanding of what may have happened in the past. I'd go back and look just to the left and see if there's any sort of obvious uh, accumulation previously. And there's not really. Um, Pretty obvious there's a big markup, some form of sell off, a breakdown, and then a downtrend. Um, this high volume here with a relatively narrow spread up bar, um, you could call that a scramble for positions. Something happened, doesn't matter what it was, there was a scramble for positions. Um, anyone who'd been holding for a long time over here to the left, they were probably happy to get out at the time. Uh, for some sort of profit, um, at least some of them were, and um, and the price was hot. Now, this sideways action here was your accumulation, you might say. It's a bit weird, it's not a, a orthodox accumulation. It was a scramble for positions and then a big mop up of supply. Uh, this here isn't really a breakout, volume's only low. Um, you could possibly mark the low of that bar to um, give you some idea of the strength of the market as a minor line in the sand. The real line in the sand was this bar here, the high volume bar. If the low of that bar got taken out, um, I'd be very concerned. Um, but you can mark the low of this bar um, to give you a, a guide to the strength of the market. Um, we'll look at it in more detail shortly. So the price moved up. There was a consolidation, moved up again, and um, there was a consolidation. Now, both these times, there would have been some profit taking, no doubt. Uh, this was a final sell-off, um, uh, relatively light volume, so there must have been more selling over here than was obvious at the time. Um, price is then broken down, finally. Um, you can see there's a... a Prices angling lower, slowly making lower lows on a regular basis, week by week, as um, people are finally realizing that it's done as much as it's going to do at this point, and they're starting to get out, creates a bit of a domino effect. Price is broken down, broken down again, and then the, the final downtrend. Now, if I was just analyzing this for the current, um, I'd really only be interested in from the highs down to the current lows and what's happened since. But seeing we're here, we'll have a bit more of a closer look at this markup because it, um, it makes good sense. So here on this um, high volume bar here, um, I'm expecting this was a scramble for positions and then this sideways action was effectively the accumulation. Uh, normally you'd see an accumulation like this where price comes down, there's buying down here, then the markup starts. Um, but in this case, something must have happened. I don't know what. It doesn't really matter. It just means something's happened. There's a scramble for positions and prices um, accumulated and then broken out. Now, um, I'll just change my color. This bar here would be a line in the sand to start with. There'd be a little one here where you could use the judgment. Anything with a wider spread, especially if it has higher volume, um, 
I'd use that as my line in the sand if I was trading it. But if that got broken, I'd be getting worried. Doesn't mean it will break down. It just means you need to have some concern, be aware of it. The market can do weird things and overshoot lines and then recover or break down below lines and never see that line again. So um, nothing is hard and fast, but you've got your accumulation here. Price breaks out on some form of volume. Let's see if we can work out which volumes are which. Okay, that bar is that volume. All right, now I would think um, these bars here are pretty much just like one big bar. So I would think of it like this, one big bar. Um, it's a series of bars, yes. Um, but one big bar. Um, now, whoops, wrong colour. Here, price has made nearly four to five times um, value. This is um, the initial consolidation, trying to solidify these gains here. Now, I wouldn't mark the high of this bar. I don't like marking high, long tails in either direction unless I really have to. Um, I prefer to mark um, bars where the close is near the extremity, uh, one or the other, and preferably bars with higher volume I'll mark. So I would mark this high here. I wouldn't mark that low there. I would wait and see. I, for the meantime, I would use the low of this bar as my line in the sand initially till I see a down bar. I would normally mark the highs, um, up bars and uptrends and down bars and downtrends. So this is the, an up bar, so I've marked its high. And this is where I'm looking for the breakout. Now for a breakdown, I would generally prefer to mark a low, but um, here I have a long tail that I don't really like. There, there might've only been a couple of trades right at the bottom and the bulk of the trades in the middle. I want to see something where there was substantial support come in on decent volume. So on this bar here, this up bar, um, volume was pretty reasonable, pretty good. Um, and the price closed near its extremity. So I can expect there was pretty decent uh, resistance at the top there um, and effectively support at the bottom too. So I wait, change color again. Um, now this bar here uh, definitely closed closer to its um, low, I would probably switch and call that the line in the sand in the end. Um, as it turned out, I didn't need to be worried about it too much because price didn't really go near it. Now, um, you would have had profit taking in this bar, there's no doubt. Uh, price has traded below the previous close and above. It probably tried to continue on, um, met some serious supply coming in, price has pushed all the way down. Um, any short-term traders, day traders, they'd be getting out on this bar for sure, taking their profits and stepping to the side and seeing what's going on. Um, price has closed not far down. Um, then price has probably traded lower the next day, then moved up and closed um, just as a slight up bar. Um, now this bar here, um, change my color, this bar here, uh, this is your classic VSA style test. Um, volume was low. Now price would have tried to move away on this. So it's probably moved up here, but um, drawn out more supply again. Uh, people were holding to see what was going to happen and uh, decided that price has moved up, we'll take a profit and get out. So price moves down over two bars. Um, I've marked the low of this as your new line in the sand. It's one of these two, it's like a little zone. Um, and price here, volume was really low. And then price moves up in response. So that was a little buying, a little support's come in here for sure. And then this bar here, moved low again, moved down, it's a little VSA style test. And volume is very low, um, very, very low. So in response to that, Price is then broken out again. Now, here you've got three big bars on three lots of volume here. Um, for me, this is one big bar, one big push out over three days. Um, price is narrowed here. Um, there's an extremity at either end. I can't really mark the high of this bar um, 
as my new breakout point, that would be a bit weird. It's right in the middle. So you would take the higher volume option of the two. Um, here, even though it's closed a little bit off its highs, you'll see it was this volume here. It was the second highest of the three. Um, that's where your line would go in my book. Um, and then a new consolidation starts. Um, there's probably a fair bit of profit taking going on again. Prices moved from 15 cents to 30 cents, um, consolidating around the 25. Um, you would mark this as your line in the sand now, uh, here. And you can see volume's got really quite low um, through here, which corresponds with here. Um, and then price is broken out. Now, this is a really widespread bar. Um, any really big single widespread bars should be a concern. They're generally not normal. Um, volume is okay. It's, it's not low volume. Um, but this, as soon as you see the widespread like this, you're thinking climactic. Is it climactic? Is this the, is something happened? People have just gotten out. I imagine there was quite a bit of selling over here. Um, they've made big profits on it. Um, when you see this bar come up second, um, still on pretty high volume, um, you would be getting even more concerned. Um, day traders would know it's time to get out. Short term traders would be thinking about it. Um, now, let's have a look at which volume is that. That's that one. So, um, here, I'd probably mark my next line. Um, looking for if price breaks below this, um, you can see this is the classic. If we've got um, supply here, um, supply here, and here's your classic up thrust after distribution. This is your, your Wyckoff term, um, almost a classic. Price comes back down, it holds at the line, it moves back up. This time, it's got not enough strength to push through. And which volume is that? That's that one. Okay. Um, price reverses down. Um, you'd be really worried now. Well, after it's tried to push up above, you'd be thinking that could be a line in the sand too, the low of that bar. If that gets taken out, you'd be getting concerned. You see it was taken out on this bar here, and it's taken out the low of this bar as well. So support's not holding. Now, what happens in these sort of cases is People are starting to take profits. And um, whenever price moves back up, anyone who was left behind wondering if it was still going to continue higher, they get a chance to get out. Uh, so every time it moves up, it gets sold back down. Um, and slowly, over a period of time, even the truest believers start to understand that we're going down and we might need to at least sell some and make a few bucks profit, even if you're going to continue holding a proportion of your position. Um, and a, um, a domino effect down begins to happen. Um, although it's a, not a very clear one here, um, this is the breakdown bar here. Um, normally it will be clearer than this. Um, you could probably be marked like that. Um, and there was your breakdown below. And you can see each bar here has made a lower low. Oh, this one didn't, but almost. Um, Trading doesn't always go perfect. Um, you could possibly have marked the lower this bar and you break down. This is a little bit messy here. Um, either way, price broke down. Uh, tried to hold <laughs> very briefly and then it's broken down again. And now this bar here, super high volume. Um, whether there was a, an attempt to reaccumulate here, there possibly was for a bit. You'd mark the low of that for sure. Um, and you probably see prices moved up, failed to um, move back above this breakdown. Um, and then it's broken down again there, but only minor. Okay, clearing all that stuff away, all that mess, starting again. Um, let's just see what we've got. We've effectively got 
scramble for positions and an accumulation of some sort. And you've got a markup, um, some form of profit taking, and then a consolidation. Uh, and you've had mar a markup again from here's your breakout line here. Um, you've had some more profit taking, had another consolidation. Um, your breakout line would be here. Um, you've had another markup like this. Um, at the time, you would have marked your breakout line again. Um, there's no doubt you had profit taking again. Um, there's been attempted a col uh, consolidation, but price broke down again from there, or broke down. Uh, price broke down again this little zone here. Um, this was a really high volume bar. Um, seeing price went up from there, you'd have to imagine that some buying has come in there. Um, it wasn't strong enough to recover back above this breakdown zone. Um, there was a minor breakdown here, but it doesn't look too serious. I'm guessing it's that volume there. Um, that's possibly the volume after that. Um, Price has just trended lower then. Um, this is probably only retailers left here. Um, here's your line in the sand again. Um, and notice that print price has accelerated higher for whatever reason here um, on pretty strong volume. Uh, this breakdown line here has caught it. And um, now it's going through some form of consolidation now. Um, how successful that'll be, I don't know. We'll um, have a look at the daily shortly. Now, just before we go to the, the daily chart, we'll just zoom in and have a slightly closer look um, at what's happened here. Now, um, just bring my little tool back. We'll mark the lower of that bar for sure. Um, it's really high volume. You always want to keep an eye on um, Bars with very high volume. Um, I'm guessing that was traded on market. It looks like it was. So it makes sense. Um, and I'd mark the low of that as your line in the sand. Um, you could possibly mark the low of this bar. It gives you a nice little zone, but um, that's debatable. Anyway. Um, my attention is drawn here when I originally analysed it. Um, I was asked if there was any accumulation. Now, there's no obvious accumulation, but um, just in here, there was um, some high volume came in. Now, it's not obvious. Um, sometimes I talk about uh, buy the offer. These two bars, they've pushed up, closed low. This looks like a buy the offer to me. Um, volumes come in, it's swept up, bought the offer, and then the price is allowed to um, just trade by itself with um, no more push, and um, it just fades back down by the end of the day and closes near its lows. It looks weak, and that's exactly what is wanted. Um, then this bar has done the same thing, but on a minor level, it's pushed up. But notice the volume's actually higher. So um, if this if you look at it the other way, if this was all selling, all this increased volume here, um, all this increased volume here was all selling, how did price go up initially and not go any lower than the line in the sand I've marked? Um, however you like to describe it, something was going on here. At the time, I said it may be a modest accumulation. Something was going on here. Price didn't respond to it. Um, I saw it as a, a modest accumulation that you could tell. But there's probably, if there was accumulation going on, it may well have been going on all through here. But you've got to be able to see it. Um, you can't just guess. Um, but something's going on here. Volume was much higher. Price didn't go down in response. Um, and the shape of these bars 
say to me, there was some buying going on here. Uh, it may not be particularly strong, or it may have been stronger than you can see, but there was some modest accumulation in here. Now we'll flip over to the daily chart and um, we'll have a look at what we've just seen, but on a daily level. Um, okay. And, um, Here's the markup we saw, the initial markup. And here is a bit of profit taking. And then the consolidation. Here's the next markup. Here's the profit taking. Now the consolidation really took place here and it possibly nearly got away here. Um, might have been a bit of extra support required and then some absorption before the final thrust up came here um, there was the profit taking there was the up thrust there was the failure to recover um, so you can see on the daily level it's a lot noisier it's um, possibly more difficult to understand at times um, but that's what it is um, now we'll just move a bit further forward um, now you can see here, um, here was where price broke down. It got a little bit messy in here. You could possibly draw those uh, diagonal trend lines in rather than uh, horizontal support. This is uh, probably retailers. Uh, they make things a bit messy at times. And uh, here's this high volume bar where we would mark the low. In fact, we'll mark it properly in a minute. Um, where price, there was probably a, an initial um, support coming in there. Um, just exactly how strong it was. I'm not sure, a lot of volume. So um, it may be the preliminary support, as Wyckoff called it, um, or Bob Evans, actually. Anyway, we'll clear that off. Um, we'll mark this low at 8.6. Point six and oops. Now, finally, we'll just have a look at some of the levels on this um, daily chart in the current area. Otherwise, this video is going to go way too long again. Um, you can see the eight point six line that um, we marked just before. Um, now, when price finally broke below it. I was a little reluctant to for a bit, but we pushed down um, with some um, intent. Now, when it tried to recover, um, you can see it really tried to recover, but there was not enough strength and um, uh, price just went sideways. We made a couple of weak attempts to push up here, 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 and here, but there was just not enough strength. and. Um, Prices drifted lower again. There's been a minor recovery. Um, you can see if you mark the lows here, price then wasn't able to recover. Whoops. Price wasn't even able to recover that little minor breakdown line. And um, price drifted down again. Now, if you mark the next one, you'll see um, prices gapped below that level. Um, that's generally showing an intention to lock people into a weak position. When people are being intentionally locked into a weak position, that means that someone might want to buy later on. And that means trying to encourage them to sell for a loss at a lower price. So this was a strong level here. This was a level to watch um, because there was a gap below it. There was no chance really um, of a recovery back above that line. If there's someone with an intent in the market, um, they'll move the market in that fashion and that gap down was for a reason. Okay, so price continues down. Um, you could mark this as a line in the sand. Now initially, um, initially here was where supply came in. Notice I'm marking 
the up bar, not the long tail. Um, we won't go bar by bar, it's gonna go forever. Um, here was your next level. Now, um, you see the levels are getting tighter and down below as well, as the potential accumulation takes place. You can see in here was where I marked those bars on the weekly, uh, where I could see something happening, or I su suggested I could anyway. Um, price has broken out here, tested the breakout and pushed it up higher. Now, I won't be surprised if that level lines up. You can see when price originally pushed out, uh, it's broken out above these highs and probably well, above this high as well. But it was caught here by the top of this bar. Then it's come down and tested. Um, I imagine supply was really low here. I guess it's that one. And then price has pushed out for whatever reason. Um, and um, when it reached the 8.6 cent line, um, it's inevitably going to have some difficulties um, from anyone who was still locked in here and was remaining in the market, still holding. Um, they were probably looking to get out yeah, around this level uh, for break even. Um, and now price is um, having a go at consolidating here, you can see. And um, this is um, attempting to consolidate above the breakout lines, uh, which is generally a good sign. Um, clear that off. Now, once again, you'd consider this effectively as one big, one big bar like that, or this volume here in particular. Um, and if the low of that got taken out, that's when you'd be getting worried. So your line in the sand is sort of in here. Um, it's never a perfect level. It's always a bit dynamic, um, but you want to have a, a, a level in mind. Um, I'm often watching the lows of each bar. Um, now I would mark it there, the low of this bar, not the actual traded low. Um, the low effectively is from the previous close in this case. Um, it's the true range low, um, same here. Um, this bar here, this bar here is low. Um, I would be counting it as there. Um, there's this little gap here where it's gapped up from the previous close. And um, this is the traded low. This is the true range low. And I would be counting that as my level. Um, So when price broke below that, if I was holding as price was rising, I would be getting concerned. Um, this is like for a day trader or short term trader. Um, it was obvious up here, it was going to stall out after these two bars. And um, when price moved below the high volume down bar, which was that one, so as a short term trader, you'd mark the low of that bar. And um, if you hadn't already got out on this bar, you'd certainly be getting out on that bar as a short term trader. You've got to take your profits when you're short term trading. Um, longer term traders can um, trade it a bit differently, have uh, broader levels. Um, now you can see here, um, there was an attempt to support the market in here. Um, I'm guessing that. In that volume, yeah. Um, so here's your next little uh, period where some support has come in, whether it'll be strong enough to hold it, absorb, consolidate, and get ready for another level. We'll have to wait and see, but that's what's happening for now. Okay, um, that might do me, I think. I'll um, see you later.